You're probably wondering which AI video tool is actually worth your time, Sora 2 or VO 3.1. Maybe you've heard the hype about both and you're stuck trying to figure out which one will give you the results you need. Well, I spent weeks testing both of these cutting edge AI video generators and I found something surprising. The better tool isn't what everyone's saying. It depends on what you're actually trying to create. Welcome back to bitbias.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm breaking down the real differences between OpenAI's Sora 2 and Google's VO 3.1. I'll show you which delivers more realistic results, which gives you better creative control, and which matches your workflow best. By the end, you'll know exactly which model to use and how to get professional results. First up, what makes these two AI directors fundamentally different? Background and model overview. Sora 2 dropped in late 2025 from OpenAI as their flagship text-to-video model. What makes it special? It creates fully synchronized audio, speech, sound effects, and ambient sounds that match what's happening on screen. OpenAI calls this their GPT 3.5 moment for video. The model understands physics. A missed basketball shot bounces off the rim realistically instead of magically scoring. It handles complex movements like backflips on a paddleboard while maintaining proper physics and can execute multi-shot instructions while keeping scenes coherent. It excels at everything from cinematic live action to anime styles. Veo 3.1 takes a different approach. It's Google's latest model, available through their Flow AI filmmaking app and the Gemini API. It also introduced native audio generation, catching up with Sora on sound. But Veo's obsession is prompt adherence. It tries to execute every single detail you write with surgical precision. It supports up to 1080p resolution and clips of 4, 6, or 8 seconds. The standout feature? Specialized tools for continuity. You can use start and end frame images to guide scenes and an extend feature to chain clips into longer sequences. Think of it this way. VO gives you tight control and consistency, while Sora pushes the envelope in realism and creative freedom. Now let's see how these differences play out in actual use. Prompt engineering and creative control. How do you talk to these AI directors? Sora 2 and VO 3.1 have completely different personalities. Sora 2 understands detailed, film-style prompts. You can describe camera framing, depth of field, specific actions, lighting, color palette. Basically paint the scene with words. If you leave details out, Sora fills them in, which can create surprises. For control, go ultra-detailed with lens types, film stock, time of day, and exact beats of each shot. Here's the powerful part. Sora handles multi-shot prompts in one generation. Write separate blocks for shot one, shot two, shot three, and it generates a sequence with cuts while maintaining continuity. You're scripting a short sequence with multiple angles and Sora persists the world state across shots. The catch? Too much complexity can trip it up. It might ignore details if your request is overly ambitious. Structure your prompt clearly and iterate in steps. The Remix feature lets you refine without starting over, and you can use image inputs as style references. Veo 3.1 follows a structured formula, cinematography plus subject plus action plus context plus style. Veo's standout feature. Ingredients to video. Feed it reference images for a character or style, and it maintains those elements consistently across shots. You can also specify first and last frames to generate seamless transitions, giving you precise storyboarding control. The trade-off? VO expects explicit instructions and attempts everything you mention, sometimes in a checklist-like way. Balance is key, rich description with coherent scenarios. Both have unique tools. Sora's app encourages remixing and iteration in a creative sandbox. VO's flow offers insert, Change, remove to add or erase objects after generation, plus extend to chain clips beyond 8 seconds. Bottom line, Sora gives you director-like freedom across multiple shots in one prompt, 
VO provides structured control with separate tools for multi-shot continuity. But how does this translate to actual video quality? Output fidelity and realism. Both models output up to 1080p HD at 24 FPS with cinematic motion blur. Sora 2 offers standard 720p 1080p, with Sora 2 Pro supporting up to 1792p 1024 for extra detail. VO 3.1 also does 720p 1080p, though extended clips drop to 720p. Neither does 4K yet. 1080p is currently the sweet spot. Visual quality. Sora 2's visuals look atmospheric and artistically lit, almost like movie scenes. OpenAI trained it to obey physics and preserve object permanence. Moving elements behave believably. Complex movements like gymnastics or dancing flow naturally. In one test, Sora correctly handled how an ambulance siren sound changed as a car window rolled down, capturing acoustic physics well. VO 3.1 offers more static detail and clarity in single frames, but may have less natural motion. A tech review noted, VO 3.1 offers more clarity and detail, while Sora 2 has better video physics in movements. If you freeze a frame, VO might look cleaner. But watching the sequence, Sora's movement feels more lifelike. Scene consistency. VO excels at following complex narratives strictly. In tests with crowded prompts, Sora sometimes omitted difficult elements, while VO attempted everything. Example, in a basketball arena prompt, Sora produced gorgeous visuals but missed the call and response chant in audio. VO's visuals were less polished, but it nailed the audio timing perfectly. VO is literal. It delivers what you ask for, even if visual quality suffers. Sora prioritizes cinematic feel and sometimes glosses over details it can't handle. VO uses reference images to lock down characters or objects across videos. Sora maintains characters within one multi-shot prompt, plus it has an upload yourself feature where you can teach it a specific person who then appears reliably with correct looks and voice. Audio quality, both generate integrated audio. Sora 2 produces richly textured sound, background ambiences, synchronized dialogue with decent lip sync, and sound effects matching the action. It can even create entire song performances with coherent lyrics. VO 3.1 excels at complex audio layering, multi-person conversations, overlapping sounds, and precise prompt adherence. If you request a specific sound at a specific moment, VO delivers it accurately. Bottom line, Sora often looks more cinematic with top-notch physics and visual flair. VO is extremely precise with scripts, maintaining continuity rigorously, though sometimes less artistic. Both excel at 1080p with great audio. Choose Sora for beautiful, film-like results. Choose VO for accuracy to complex scripts and continuity. Now let's talk style control. Style and genre control. Both models are chameleons with visual styles from photorealistic to anime. Sora 2 excels at photorealistic, cinematic, and anime styles. Set your aesthetic up front. 1970s documentary, grainy 16mm film, or bright colorful anime style. It understands terms like IMAX scale epic or handheld smartphone footage and adjusts accordingly. You can get granular with anamorphic 2.0x lens, shallow DOF, volumetric light for that Hollywood blockbuster vibe. Sora combines visual and audio style, request noir thriller with jazzy score, and it matches both. Sora 2 Pro improves style consistency further by reducing flicker. The app's trends section shows popular styles, helping you explore what's working. VO 3.1 handles style through the formulas style and ambiance section. Shot as if on 1980s color film, slightly grainy, or epic fantasy style, soft morning light. It accepts images as style references, feed it a Studio Ghibli frame or Blade Runner still, and it applies that look. Flow lets you reuse styles across multiple shots for consistency. Sora leans cinematic by default. VO needs explicit styling, but follows it closely. Both let you control camera filters and VFX. 
Sora responds to Black Pro Mist Filter for Bloom or Fine Grain for Vintage Feels. Vio excels at lighting control and atmosphere. Moody, blue-toned lighting with rain affects visuals and audio. Higgsfield offers Sora's Sketch to Video feature for composition control. Vio has Insert Remove for post-generation effects. Bottom line, Sora has built-in cinematic flair with granular style descriptions. Vio provides structured control with reference images for consistent aesthetics. Both achieve any style, Pixar animation to gritty documentary. Preview test clips on both to see which nails your vibe. Now, how fast can you actually generate these videos? Speed, accessibility, and workflow. Speed. Sora 2 is faster, generating a 12-second video in about 30 seconds versus VO's 45 seconds. This matters when iterating multiple clips for social media. Speed varies with complexity, but Sora feels snappier overall. Sora 2 Pro runs slower for higher quality. Access. Sora 2 is delivered via iOS app and Sora.com. Currently invite waitlist gated in US and Canada. It's free with usage limits during beta possibly 30 videos doc day. ChatGPT Pro subscribers get Sora 2 Pro access. The app is user-friendly. Type A prompt, choose settings, 4 as 8 sus 12's length, orientation, generate. Mobile-centric with community feed. OpenAI plans API access, but it's not broadly available yet. VO 3.1 is accessible through Flow at flow.google and the Gemini API just Vertex AI for developers. Flow requires a Google account, possibly Google Labs sign-up. It's web-based with timeline editing. More complex, but more powerful. Currently free during preview with hundreds of millions of videos generated. Third-party platforms like Higgsfield integrate both models. Integration. Sora is self-contained. Create videos, share in community, or download MP4s. OpenAI plans formal API release for programmatic generation. The Upload Yourself feature injects real people into AI scenes. Your creations live in cloud storage at Sora.com. No timeline UI. Use external editors for longer films. VO is enterprise-ready via Gemini API and Vertex AI on Google Cloud. Developers can hook VO into workflows, generate variations programmatically, combine with other models. Flow is timeline-based for multi-scene projects. Every VO video has invisible SynthID watermarking for AI content identification. Sora uses visible watermarks and metadata, possibly a small logo. Workflow use. Use Sora for rapid prototyping and sample footage. VO excels for advertising teams generating consistent variant videos. Both models export standard video files. Sora encourages community remixing. VO focuses on controlled production workflows. Now let's address the limitations you need to know about. Drawbacks and limitations. No AI model is perfect, so let's be honest about the major drawbacks or limitations of Sora 2 and VO 3.1 you should consider before diving in. Starting with Sora 2, the first limitation is access. It's currently invite only with usage caps, possibly around 30 videos per day with a max duration of 10 to 12 seconds. This means you can't get one minute videos in one go and you'll need to stitch multiple clips together. On the prompt compliance front, Sora can sometimes be too creative, meaning it ignores or changes complex details you specified. It may omit secondary elements if your requests are overly ambitious. Character consistency is another challenge. Sora struggles with identities across separate runs, so subtle differences may appear between generations. Content restrictions are also stricter here. Sora won't generate real people's likenesses, except through the Upload Yourself feature, and it blocks NSFW or copyrighted characters. There's also visible watermarking and metadata on all outputs, so you'll need to check the terms for commercial use during beta. Finally, there's no built-in editing capability. You can't tweak generated video except by reprompting, which means you must regenerate entire clips, not just portions. Now for VO 3.1's limitations. The most obvious one is the 8-second hard cap on clip length. The extend feature can chain clips together, but it drops to 720p for longer sequences, 
so true 1080p is limited to short clips. VO can also be over-literal in its interpretation. Following every detail you specify can actually backfire with contradictory prompts, and it lacks creative interpretation when your prompt is underspecified, so you must script very logically. Visual quality can degrade in complex scenes, and VO may introduce strange artifacts that weren't in your prompt at all. Accessibility is another hurdle. There are region and invite restrictions. Flow requires a Google account and lab signup, and the API will cost money post preview. If you're not familiar with Cloud Console, this adds complexity. The learning curve is steeper too. Many features like ingredients, frames, insert, and remove can overwhelm new users compared to Sora's simple interface. Finally, there's invisible synth ID watermarking on all outputs, and regional restrictions on person generation may apply depending on where you are. The good news is both platforms evolve fast, so these limitations may improve in future versions. So which AI video generator wins? It depends on your priorities, but here's the clear breakdown. Sora 2 strengths. Ultra detailed prompts spanning multiple shots, more cinematic visuals with better physics, faster generation, 30s versus 45s, longer clips, 12s versus 8s, simpler interface, built in community for sharing and remixing. Best for creative exploration, dramatic storytelling, and rapid iteration. Veo 3.1 Strengths Precision Control Tools Insert, Remove, Ingredients, Extend. Guaranteed multi-clip consistency via reference images. Structured workflow for complex projects. Enterprise API integration. Better at executing every detail you specify, especially audio layers. Best for structured storytelling, advertising variants, and professional workflows. The verdict, Sora 2 delivers realistic cinematic results faster and easier. VO 3.1 provides meticulous control for complex multi-scene projects. Many creators use both. Sora for beautiful bass clips, VO for refinement and consistency. As these models evolve, features will likely converge. We're witnessing a new era where video generation is at our fingertips. It's like having two AI co-directors, one an imaginative cinematographer, the other a meticulous planner. Used right, both help you create what you could only imagine before. Thanks for watching. If this helped, Hit like and subscribe for more AI breakdowns. Have you tried Sora 2 or VO 3.1? Drop your experience in the comments. Until next time, keep creating.